so I found these buckets at um, Michael's last year and they were like 90% off, which was a great buy, but I don't love the finish on them. We're gonna use two simple products, Mod Podge and Cinnamon. And it's as simple as this. We are going to paint the pumpkin with the Mod Podge all over. This might take me, I might have to come back and do a little bit of touch up, but that's okay. So I'm just making sure that I get a really good coat of Mod Podge on. Make sure you have paper down so you don't drip it. So let's do about half of the bucket at one time. And we're simply going to take our cinnamon and you wanna make sure that you have, oh, that we don't have on that one. <laughs> that was not good. You wanna make sure you have your sprinkler part on there. I wanna save the cinnamon on the table that we're not using. And you're gonna sprinkle your cinnamon all over the face of your bucket. And then you can kind of go like that so you get the excess off. You wanna turn it so that you get all of the places where you have put the Mod Podge. Dump it upside down so you can see all that extra cinnamon I have, but we're gonna just scoop it up and put it back in the bottle and use it. But I'm just making sure I get a good coat around the pumpkin. Now you can even use, it doesn't have to be a bucket. You could use a plastic pumpkin to do this. Um, I've even done this on a styrofoam pumpkin. So there you have him, our cinnamon pumpkin. The second way that you can create a rusty looking pumpkin is to use acrylic paint and cinnamon. So believe it or not, I'm gonna start with some black paint. This method gives you a little bit more depth and color. So by doing this, you will see how we get more of a variation of color. So we're gonna put the black all over the front. Now what I'm gonna do, right over that black, I'm going to use sort of a pumpkin-y brown color and I'm gonna paint right over it. So I'm giving it a two-tone look. Doesn't need to be perfect by any means. And we are gonna sprinkle with our cinnamon. So tilt it on the side, give it a little bit. Now in this one, if you wanna leave some areas with a little less cinnamon, you can do that. And there, you can see the variation. So let me show you side by side that you can see a little bit more variation in color on the pumpkin on the right than the one on the left. So I needed some fabric to cover the um, mouth, the nose, and the eyes of my bucket. And I didn't have any black fabric, so I just had a piece of drop cloth and I'm just simply going to spray it black. And then I'm going to attach this to the inside of the bucket. So now, I'm before I stack my buckets, I'm gonna give them a good coat of this matte clear enamel and let them dry. So this will keep the cinnamon from falling off of the bucket. And you just wanna go around and give a good coat on all of your buckets. So when we create our topiary, the end result is that we wanna put plants in our lanterns, so, or our buckets. So since this is cut out, and obviously the dirt would fall out, I just took a scrap of a drop cloth that I had, I spray painted it black, and I'm going to hot glue it into the inside of the bucket, and then I'm gonna, um, actually tape it as well for security and then um, the dirt will stay in place with this. Just like that. 
So just for a little additional security, I'm just going to put some heavy duty duct tape over the edges of the cloth on the inside of the bucket like that. Okay, so we are getting ready to prepare our dowel in this plastic container and I'm gonna secure it with some plaster of Paris. So you can see here that I've put two little pieces of wood inside of my plastic container to hold my dowel in place so that when it dries, it's straight. So I've put the plaster of Paris in the bucket and I'm adding some water. I'm just gonna mix it to a good, I don't want it too thick because I want it to go around all of my wood pieces. So I am just pouring this in around the dowel and then I will push it down with my, I'm gonna come back and get some on the other side. So you just wanna push it down. I'm probably gonna have to make a second batch I can see to make sure that um, I have enough because you want it to be heavy for one. So you can see how full my container is with the plaster of Paris and my dowel goes up. And um, when this is dry, we will insert it into the bucket and then fill it with dirt. Okay, so we have put our plaster of Paris with the dowel inside of the large bucket and now we're gonna drill holes. I, I have to admit, I had to have some manpower to help me get started on this. So now I'm gonna use this drill bit. And create a hole so that we can slide it over the dowel once we fill this bucket with dirt. Now it's time to create our topiary. So the first thing I've done is drilled a few holes in the bottom of this bucket for drainage. I'm gonna place my plaster of Paris with my dowel. I'm gonna put some large pieces of broken pot over the drainage holes. Then I'm going to use some smaller gravel. just to create a base for two reasons, for drainage and for weight. I want to give the bucket some weight because it's gonna hold three other buckets. I'm going to then fill my bucket with soil. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna put on a few clay flower pots and the reason I'm doing that is this will create a barrier between this bucket and our next bucket to give me a little bit of space there and I'm going to add my first bucket second bucket and my third bucket. Now I'm going to plant her up and put her on the front porch. Now the fun begins. So now I'm going to fill it with some faux flowers. I chose faux because they're lighter in weight and I didn't want to make the topiary too heavy. So these are just some leftover seeded eucalyptus and some amaranthus that I had in an arrangement last week. And I'm literally going to just set it like that. I have a faux branch and I'm gonna poke it in the back here. I have a second little bunch of eucalyptus that I'm gonna lay that way. This is a cinnamon pumpkin that I did earlier this week and I'm gonna put it right under there. Pop a little bit more eucalyptus in here, a pine cone and a few pods from my jacaranda tree out front. So that is my first layer. Now, I have added a, an oasis block 
and I poked a faux fern and a few, just a few of these jacaranda pods in there from my front tree. And I'm going to put this in the very top. I chose to put it in the oasis so that it will give it some stability. And that goes on the very top. For the middle two, I picked up these giant, large, faux cabbages. I think they're great for fall. And I put a box of oasis inside the bucket and I'm just going to poke it in. So it's just a simple block. It's not even glued in there. And I'm just going to poke this into the oasis. And this way it's very light and it will not cause a problem. I just like the moss for a little bit of texture hanging down. And there you have it. It's ready for the front porch.